Hello and welcome back to the Quinton Group.tv. And yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So interesting, I was thinking about this today. Um, but the topic I'm gonna to talk about is about looking at homes online versus actually in person. You know, we've got a, a obviously today, 90% of people right now, buyers and consumers go online to view properties. And it's not always what it seems to be online, just to let you know. And uh, so uh, we're having this all the time where somebody will inquire to us regarding properties or buyers we work with and say, I saw this property online, what'd you think about it? And you know, my team and I, especially our buyer specialists, they've been in and out of all the inventory. Um, the properties don't always appear where they are aligned to what they actually are. So it's really, really good uh, to be able to come down and look at property. So number one is, you know, you really got to look at the photos and understand don't always trust the room sizes. You know, the photos online sometimes make it look larger, a lot, a lot of times make it look smaller. So don't trust the photos always. Again, realtors like me and, and everyone else we will position these properties and make them look better than they can. But that's what we're doing online. Um, however, you really need to see it in person. Um, number two, properties always don't look as clean as they actually are. I mean, from, from photos, um, it's tough to see exactly uh, the condition as far as how cleanly, the cleanliness of a property, how clean things are. And uh, if it's decluttered or not, you can kind of tell, but ultimately really getting in there and seeing the bathrooms and the kitchens and getting a closer look, you gotta be in person. Third thing is, you know, it may look great from the photos and the outside area is good. Um, however, when you go into the property, you actually get a sense of, 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 you know, smell a lot of times. And obviously you're going to be able to get in there and see, is, does it smell musty? Does there, is it funky in any way or whatever? You know what I mean? So that another thing you can't always tell by photos. Again, it's really good to come down and look at things in person. Um, and then, you know, ultimately location wise, you know, if you're not familiar with certain areas or like to do it again, coming in person, standing outside on the porch of the home, walking around the neighbors, if there's neighbors outside uh, that you see, stop, introduce yourself and ask them, how's the neighborhood? What's going on? Um, because, you know, sometimes maybe you see something that you think is a really good location, but yet it can be very noisy or there could be some other things going on to, um, uh, you know, not, not be as attractive that you don't know about. So a couple of things to think about before you, uh, you know, do all your home shopping online. One to consider is, uh, is don't always get, get emotionally attached to the pictures. You know, two is obviously choose a good real estate agent. Third, got to be patient. And fourthly, um, also don't avoid listings with bad pictures. We see bad pictures all the time in our industry. And I see it all the time. I'm like, man, those pictures do not do justice for the property. That property is way nicer of it. So, um, you know, don't always avoid looking at those properties if it has a location, the price, and from what you can see as far as condition. So anyway, we've got some incredible opportunities this time of year. There's some sellers that are super motivated. Some of them made some price adjustments that they're looking to sell and get out by the end of the year. In fact, I've got one new construction right now, a seller who uh, has opportunities to buy some other property. He uh, wants an offer on his unit right now. And as long as you can close this year, he's gonna discount this pretty, pretty significantly. So anyway, uh, give a call if there's any questions, 609-398-5333. As always, we look forward to our conversation being the best of your day. Thanks for watching.